Good afternoon, growers. It's December 16th, and here's the veg room. Along the back side here, we have the Garden of Green Kosher Kush Seeds and three Royal Gorillas from Royal Queen Seeds. And then we have some clones of the gelatos that are upstairs in flower. And then here's the Bubba Kush. There's five Bubba Kush. So four in the first row, and number five. And the Bubba Kush is branched out considerably. I took a bunch of leaves out of the centers of the plant and spread some of them with twist ties last week and now the canopy is starting to develop into a sizable little bush and here's the sour number two a clone of the huge monster that's upstairs in the corner sorry this one's the sour two this one's LSD and then LSD, 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 LSD LSD and then blueberry in the back. So the plants have gotten transplanted this week into fives and I've stopped bending them over starting to let them climb up now. We want to get some height on the branches so when we lay them down in the scrog and the trellis that we can cover the canopy area with nine plants or up to eleven. I have twelve that will work and 11 would be my preference to fill the flower room. So they still have about 12 days to go, and then they'll be up in flower. So pretty quick here, we'll take clones off of them and fold them a little bit more maybe on some of the tall tops here. But the canopy's coming along pretty good. Everything's nice and green now, and still really short and wide. So overall, these ones here are still in twos and these ones just got transplanted into their twos and they're getting nice and branchy now too. So you can see the plants are really quite small and get them growing lots of tops down low and then let them start climbing up. Okay, and here's my fresh batch of clones that has roots and are about five, six days in now and into the cups and growing. So they're looking pretty good. Nice and small. Okay, so there's the bedroom. I hung the fan up finally. Had it sitting on the floor not running, but that's what's making all the noise in here now. So I just have the two lights. Same thing, about four feet above the plants. I might get one more for the end of the room. I took the rest of the work area, desk, and other stuff out and put the fan and humidifier in the corner. And it let me expand the veg area a little bit more. So now it's about 10 feet long. And thanks for checking out the bedroom. Good afternoon growers, it's December 16th and here's the Crop King tent. This is full of gelato and sour diesels. There's five plants in five gallon containers. And this week I did clear out a great big pile of the large fans all the way down and through the plants. I wouldn't call it a major defoliation, but definitely took out lots. Let some light into the rest of the canopy and they've gotten massive. As you can see the canopy's a bit out of control got three sort of different height levels. Not much I can do and this one pheno of the gelato or sour diesel it just grows too huge. It'll be the one time that I grow this one and it's too bad because this thing gets big. As you can see it's got quite a bit of node spacing. but still a beautiful plant that just grows crazy fast. So everything's going really good in here. A tiny bit of nutrient burn showing up on the tips of the leaves. So I backed off the PPMs. It's only 650. I had 700 going in and it seems to have caused a little bit of tip burn. So I flushed it and everything else seems to be going good now. So that's the one room. And let's take the next, another look at the next flower room. Okay, 
Here's the next room, and this is the same thing, five plants under a different spectrum of light. Same quantity, pretty close to the same area, and five plants in here. I really like this pheno, and these are crop king seeds, gelato and sour diesels, and same thing as before, can't tell you which ones are which unless I climb on the floor. I will look them up this week, and I went through and took out a great big pile of the large fan leaves and opened these up also. Not a major, major defoliation, but definitely a lot taken out. They're doing fantastic. These ones have slightly more nutrient burn, so I backed them down to 600 ppm, and same thing, that was at 700. Plants didn't like it, and you can still need, see they need more mag, but everything else is really green. And I'm really happy with the progress so far. These plants have really nice node spacing. Should get some nice sized colas. And the blood, buds have grown lots this week. So let's take a couple look, a little look at some close-ups. There we are. So I'll film the other flower room later today. And there's the room from the back. And the canopy is about two feet deep and just solid bush. Again, very impressed with these genetics. Okay, and that's all for this room. Good evening, growers. It's December 16th, and I just wanted to take a second and thank all the new subscribers uh, for your continued patronage and continuing to watch my videos. Thank you all so much. We finally broke 200 people, and welcome to the new subscribers. I hope you enjoy the time you spend in my garden. So here's a Bubba Kush. We're at 51 days into flower now. I opened up a whole bunch of the leaves that were covering the other bud sites on this plant. And here's the LSD plants. One of the LSDs. This is the one that's positioned right under the center part of the HLG light. And when I lowered it, you can really see that it toggled the fan leaves. But we've got some really nice sized buds building all the way down into the canopy here. Get some of those. Let's see if we can get some close ups and let it focus. Let's take a look at some other ones. So here's the second pheno of the Bubba Kush. This one is the one that I'll either re -veg so that I can make sure I have clones of it. I did take clones, but I didn't label them from the two plants, like a fool. But it's a beautiful plant, and it has fantastic resin production right down onto the fan leaves. So here's our next LSD, and it's got some good sized buds on it also, and they're all frosting up really nice. So I did go through and take out a bunch of the leaves that were stacked up against the buds. The LSD doesn't like any kind of moisture. I have had bud rot in my last crop because of the leaves being stacked up on each other. So it was preventive at this time. And the blueberry has just gone crazy. It doesn't look even remotely close to starting to finish flower. And there are some big buds. So you can see an LSD beside the blueberry, how much ahead the LSD is to finishing. The blueberry doesn't even have a single red hair on it yet. Okay, lots of colas over here, lots of frost. Canopy's pretty dang full. So overall, I'm really happy with how this has come out, other than I burnt the leaves. Next time I won't do that, and the plants will be nice and green at the end of flower. 
I'll just be starting to knock the PPMs down now over the next two or three waterings and then I'll cut them to nothing for the final 10 days. So that's the flower room. And again, thanks so much for watching. Hope everyone has a wonderful week. And I'll see you next week. Oh, let's get in a couple close-ups. They're getting frosty. Okay, enough.